Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to create this uh, testimonial slider using Glider.js. So let's get started. Just go ahead and uh, Google for Glider.js and uh, you can find this website over here. I will leave the link in the description below. So just click on that. And here we are in the glider.js homepage. So here we can see it says it is fast and uh, it is also small in size. It is full responsive, mobile friendly and uh, dependency free which means it doesn't depend on any other library and uh, so many other features. So if you go over here we can, we can see the introduction and we also have some demos over here. So this is basically what we are going to use. There are so many demos and uh, usage and all. So let's go ahead and uh, click on download. This is the file that we downloaded. Let's go ahead and extract it. And uh, if you go inside this folder, here we can see we have this glider main CSS and glider main JS. Let's go ahead and copy both these files and we'll paste it in our folder. So this is the folder that we had created for our project. So let's open that folder and uh, we'll paste it over here. So we'll create a new folder called CSS and uh, we'll move this CSS into the CSS folder and one more folder called JS and we'll move this JS file inside the JS folder. And now let's go ahead and uh, open this with VS code. Let's first of all create an index.html file. And in the CSS folder, we'll create a style.css file. Alright, so now in the index.html file, we'll just write the basic HTML5 boilerplate. So if you press exclamation and tab, you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate. We'll just type testimonials. And uh, here we will uh, link our CSS files. And before the body ends, we'll also link our uh, JavaScript file. Now let's create a folder called IMG and we'll paste some images over here. So these are the four images that we want. So we'll just copy these and uh, we'll paste it inside our uh, IMG folder. So if you go over here, here we can see all the images and uh, we're going to be using these in our uh, website. Now let's start writing the markup for our web page. But before that we need to have two more things over here. One is font awesome. Click on start using free. And we'll copy this from here and uh, we'll paste it right here. And we also need some Google fonts. We need to have two fonts. One is called dancing script. So I'll just add this. And the other one is called passion one and we'll add this all right now we will copy this line of code from here and we'll paste it right here all right now we'll open this page with live server first of all we'll have a division with a class of container and in that we'll have a division with a class of testimonials and in that we'll have a division with class of testimonial. So there will be multiple testimonial inside the testimonials division. So we'll create one more division with the class name of photo. And here we will add the image. Testimonial 1. And then we'll have a division with a class of content. And uh, here we will have a block code and we'll type some lorem ipsum and then we'll have a division with the class name of name and we will type some name over here. So that's it with the testimonial uh, division. Now outside the testimonials division, we'll create two spans for the left and the right arrows. So we will type 
span with a class name of slider prev. Here we will use a font or some icon. So we'll type I and we'll give it a class name of FAS and also a class name of FA dash chevron dash circle dash left. Now just copy this and uh, paste it over here and we will type slider dash next and uh, right over here. So these are the two buttons. Now we also need to have a division for the dots. So the dots that appear down here. So we need to have a division for the dots. So here we'll create a container division first of all and we'll give it a class name of dots container and we'll also set the role to tab list and then a division with the class name of dots. All right, so that's basically it with our HTML. Now let's go to our CSS and start styling this page. All right, so first of all, we'll go ahead and uh, give some global styling. So box sizing, border box, margin of zero. Now we'll give some styling to the body and we'll set the display to flex and uh, the height to 100 viewport height and the align items to the center font family of dancing script cursive and background color of rgba 255,217,0,0.7 all right now we'll style the container background of white width of 900 pixels height of 500 pixels padding of 32 and 0 display of flex align items to the center margin of 48 pixels and auto position of relative and also give a box shadow and we'll set the box shadow to 0 pixels 3 pixels 15 pixels 0 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and uh, 0 0.157 and these are just a basic styling so I'm not explaining much if you don't know about display flex I have a complete video on uh, explaining flexbox so you can watch that and uh, these are all some basic stylings and uh, here we are setting the position to relative so that the child elements can set its position relative to this container and for the margin we are setting the top and bottom to 48 and the left and right to auto so that uh, this container will be centered in the screen now the next thing we need to do is style the testimonial so we'll type testimonial and we'll set the display to flex and align items to the center justify content to the center so if you notice uh, i'm just writing the shortcuts so if you want to type align items to the center you can just type a i c and if you press tab you can get uh, uh, this style over here so you can also use that to save your time now we'll style the photo testimonial dot photo and we'll set the width to 300 pixels and transform and we'll just rotate it a little so we'll rotate it to minus two degrees we have set the display to flex but uh, it is not showing side by side over here the the photo should be on the left and uh, this content should be on the right so let's go to our HTML and uh, inspect what is going on so here we can see we have this testimonial and uh, here we have this photo division and we haven't closed it over here so now we can see the content and the photo are side by side so let's go ahead and continue styling now we'll style the content so we'll type testimonial content and we'll set the width to 500 pixels and the height to 100 percent and the position to relative now we'll style the block code testimonial block code so the padding to 32 pixels font size to 
30 pixels margin top of 140 pixels and margin left of 42 pixels now we'll style this open code that we have over here so here we'll type testimonial block code colon colon before and for the content we will type open code here we can see the open code but uh, we need to change the font size and the font family so we'll type font family and we'll set it to passion one cursive and we'll set the font size to 300 pixels and the position to absolute we set the top to minus 20 pixels and the left to 30 pixels now we'll style uh, the name division so we'll type testimonial content and name and we'll set the padding to 8 pixels and 48 pixels font size of 24 pixels margin left of uh, 48 pixels and a background color of f5 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 all right now we will also give a width of 100 percent for this image so that it doesn't exceed the photo division so here we will type testimonial dot photo img max width of 100 percent and uh, for the testimonial we will set it a width of 900 pixels all right now we'll give a color for uh, this block code so here we will type color it will be rgba 255 5 and 0.75 now we'll style the next and the previous buttons over here so we'll type slider next slider prev and we'll set the position to absolute and this will be set relative to this container because uh, if you go up here we can see that for the container we have set the position to relative so I'll just save this and uh, we seem to be having some problem over here this uh, should be right here so let's maximize this and let's go to our HTML and see whether we have missed something so if you take a look at this we can see that this is the end of this division right here and uh, this is the end of this testimonial division this is the end of testimonial division and we have one more ending tag over here for the container we don't want to end the container division over here so we'll just delete this and we want to end it over here so we already have it over here so I think that was the problem so let's go to our website so here you can see our next and previous buttons are right here so let's go back to our style.css and uh, continue styling so for the top we will set it to 222 pixels font size of 48 pixels cursor to pointer so that we get this hand icon when we hover over it we'll also set the color to this same color over here so we'll just copy this now for the previous slider prev we'll set the left to minus 24 pixels and for the slider next we'll set the right to minus 24 pixels so that's basically it with our uh, styling now we just have to style the dots so before that we will go ahead to our HTML and uh, we'll see how to add our uh, slider so after linking our uh, glider.min.js here we will add some script so we'll type script and uh, in here we can add JavaScript but before that let's go ahead and uh, copy this testimonial a couple more times and we'll change the image to testimonial 2 and we'll also change this name and for the third one we will uh, select the third image and uh, here we'll type something else
all right we'll, we'll just delete uh, this testimonial from here we'll just have three of them all right now we will start writing the javascript so it is uh, really simple you just have to create a new glider so we'll type new glider and in here you have to give the reference for the container division so if we go up here the container division that we have specified is testimonials so let's go down and uh, here you have to type document dot query selector and then type dot testimonials then we'll have an object so here we can add different properties to our slider so we'll type slides to show and uh, we'll, we will show one slide at a time and for the dots we will set it to dot dots and uh, draggable do we want it to be draggable so we'll set it to true and arrows and uh, we'll set it to another object and we'll say priv and the class for the previous uh, slider is uh, slider priv so we'll type slider priv and for the next we'll type slider next all right so that's basically it for the slider now let's go to our website so here we can see our uh, slider if you click on the next we can go to the next and if we click on previous we can go to previous and we have two problems over here one is that these dots should be down here and the next is that when we go over here we have just a single quote and uh, even here we have a single quote we should have double quotes like this so let's go ahead and fix both those issues we'll go to our style.css and uh, we will add some styling for the dots container we'll set the width to 120 pixels padding of 8 pixels background color of white border radius of 8 pixels position of absolute bottom of 24 pixels left of 50 percent and uh, if you set the left to 50 percent the container will start from the center so we have to also move it 50 percent left so we'll type transform translate x and uh, here we'll type minus 50 percent so let's go to our website here we can see our uh, dots now let's fix this uh, single quotes issue so that's really simple just to uh, go over here and uh, here we are opening the code but we are not closing it so that's the reason why we are seeing single quotes so here we will just say testimonial and uh, block code after and uh, for the content we will set it to close code all right now if you go to the next slide we can see we have the double quotes but we also need to remove this ending code that we have over here we don't want it to be visible so let's go to our after and here we will type visibility hidden so that's basically it with our slider so this is how you can create a basic slider using glider.js so it is really lightweight and uh, you can use it in your websites so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day